Uh, we've been talking about money all week on the front page, and uh, we are now joined with Tom Tooley, is the CEO of Eco ATN, and he's here to tell us how to grow a business. And I know Scott, you've mentioned actually that you've used this before. Your kids, I love it. Your six-year-old told you about this. Right, I love it. Here, here's Tom. Tom, good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? Uh, what a pleasure to have you here, uh, because the Echo ATM. If you don't know what it is, let me just give you a real brief, quick description. In certain malls around the country, how many how many machines are there? We have about 325 throughout the country right now. And, and you can visit online, and it'll tell you where you can go find them. Exactly. You've got how many cell phones in your house that you no longer use? Old Blackberries, old phones from way back when, and you just put them in a drawer and you never thought about using them again. You can take your old cell phone, go to an Echo ATM in a mall, put it in, It'll, it'll do a full scan and analysis. It'll tell you what the phone is worth at the moment, and the ATM will actually give you cash on the spot if you're willing to sell your phone to the machine. What a genius idea. No kidding. Guys, I'm, genius. I'm fascinated by the fact that you have a machine who can actually tell you how much a phone is worth with, a, with just the technology that you have. That's How's it all incredible. work? How does the machine determine what a phone is worth? Sure. Well, we have um, a bunch of cameras in the system, and we use some artificial intelligence software that uh, can visually identify the phone, and then it looks it up into a database that we've created against all different phones that have ever been created. We have about 4,000 different phones in our database. It figures out what it is. It does some additional analysis. Uh, to figure out whether it's broken, cracked screens, things of that nature. Uh, there's a little robot that gives you a connector, which you plug it in, and we interrogate the phone, make sure it powers up. Uh -huh. And at that point, we know exactly what the phone is, what exactly what the condition it's in, and we run a 724 uh, auction always going on for all different handsets in all different conditions. So we're basically putting uh, the real-time market of what that device is worth. We figured out what it is and what condition it's in, and we offer it on the you spot and spot. spit cash right out. Now, what happens if, like, for instance, can it tell, like, when a, a screen is cracked? Can it? Sure. Yeah, so we can tell if the, if the glass is cracked, if the LCD doesn't work anymore. Um, so there's whether no cheating. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we figured all the way out, which is why we want to give you the highest price that we right. possibly can uh, for that device at that time. Well, what's the lowest price the machine would pay for a phone? So we'll pay up to uh, as low as a dollar. Okay. And, and uh, in those cases, we're probably just going to take the phone and, and recycle it, not actually have a new market for it, put it into a smelter so that it doesn't go into a landfill and it's uh, environmentally responsible uh, recycled. Okay, what's the most someone would ever get for a phone from the Echo ATM? So hundreds of dollars, I would say. Really? Uh, like if you have an iPhone 5 or something like that, it's probably in the 200 plus dollar range. You're I think kidding. an iPhone 4, a lot of people are trading from 4s to go to 5. Right. It's probably in the 150 to 200 dollar range, depending You're on kidding. condition and memory. Really cool. I had no idea. I had all these old phones. My daughter and I went to the Echo ATM. She thought she was going to get rich. We walked out <laughs> with $8. <laughs> it was great. Mm -hmm. It was great. We got $2 a phone. It was fantastic. But we had so much fun. And what happened is people are looking at this machine in the, in the food court at the U TC Mall, they don't have any idea what it is. We're standing there putting phones in and, fee and money's coming out. I swear to you, there's a crowd of people around us going, what is that? What are you guys yeah. doing? So how do you expand and how do you let people know what an Echo ATM really is? So our, our plan with the machine is really to, to start with phones but continue on to other portable electronics. So we'll also take back MP3 players now and we've recently um, bring tablets as well, so your old Barnes & Noble Nooks or oh, your old nice, iPads, yeah. things of that nature. And so as we continue to expand across the country and get more commodities, we'll try to add additional electronics to the device. Um, and then we've, we've raised some uh, $40 million recently to put a whole bunch of more kiosks out there. Um, and we're going to continue across the country in more states. We're in 22 states now. Continue uh, into more malls and then into other channels like grocery and other retailers. What do you do with the info on, on someone's phone? Great like you question. have pictures, you have sure. all your contact information. I mean, def I'm thinking pictures, first of all. <laughs> right. <laughs> What happens to that? Well, we, we ask the customers to delete it all themselves anyways, more of a kind of belt and suspenders approach to it. Okay. However, in our uh, refurbishing process, all data is wiped as well. But we try to get the consumers to, to do that do as well. Themselves. But um, it, it does happen in the process. Yeah. Physically then, how does the phone, it gets eaten up by the machine, taken by the machine, you get the cash. You say there's a market internationally for these devices. Who then gets it and then sells it elsewhere. Sure, so the, the market is really domestic as well as international. Probably about 80% of all of our flow actually stays right here in the U.S. Really? Uh, so it goes to refurbishers who will fix it up. 
um, sell it on eBay perhaps, into the insurance channel. If you have never insurance and you break your phone, they need to deliver you a new one, so a lot of flow goes that I've way. I've done that before. Um, a lot of retailers, Walmart and other, are selling now used phones to try to bring the price point down, so people who aren't able to afford the more expensive phones. So there's a lot that goes in right here, and then certainly a portion of it goes off offshore, uh, where they go into hands of, you know, in India and China and places where they just can't afford to, to pay $500 for a phone, right. and the only way they're going to get asset to, uh, access to that is to use a secondhand phone. And you guys are mostly in malls, right? Yeah. We've used malls as our as our first place to go in because it's very high visibility. Vi high visibility. So when someone sees it, they think, "Next time I'm here, I'm exactly. going to, make sure to bring my phone." Yeah. So instead of doing large marketing TV ads or whatnot to tell people what it's about, you put the machine. It becomes your own advertising. We have large screens on it. People walk by and say, "What is that weird right. thing? Is that an ATM?" And the screen says, "We buy electronics." And then people like Scott when he, and his daughter sit in front and use it. People uh, come around and say, "Oh, this is a great idea. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go home and get my phone." So yeah. we. We use malls in that because it's easy to get to, it's very convenient, um, and there's a lot of people there. Is it inexpensive to get the space in a mall? Um, you have to rent the space, so it's really not inexpensive. Um, we do have to get quite a few people to use the phone, uh, use the machine in order to, to, ma to make a living at it, yeah. but it does work. Be when you make things as convenient as putting a machine, um, you make it fun, um, you pay people on the spot, and you kind of, you people not only, that instant it's right. instant, it, it gets people off you know the couch. And, well, that, and, and you're on a mall, it's like, I need the money, I well, want to well, buy something. And they can like spend it right just, away. Yeah. It's sitting in a drawer, it, it's doing nothing. Uh, Tom, honestly, we could talk, I, I promise you, for hours because I would have a billion other questions like, you know, will, and we're, unfortunately we got to go, but, um, you know, will there be franchises? Can you buy your own machine? What do the machines cost? I mean, we have, okay, real quick, will you franchise? <laughs> um, currently, our plan is to own and operate, but at some point we may, uh, we may open that up as well. How much is each machine? Does it uh, I can't really talk about that. Okay, got it. well, you're the CEO, you're the boss. Yeah. <laughs> we'll find some, I got to find somebody who works, you know, well underneath. There, there you go. <laughs> hey, Tom, what a pleasure. Yeah, thank, thank you very you so much. much. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Congratulations on your success. Yeah. Really unbelievable. Really incredible. I know.